A life insurance policy is one way to safeguard your family's financial future. However, most Americans are actually underinsured. Figuring out how much insurance you need is not as complicated as you might think. Dave Wilkin, president of Global Atlantic's Life Group, is here to help all of us. Dave, thanks so much for being with us. Yes, thank you for, for having me. So how is it that we actually calculate how much we need or how much is the correct amount? Yeah, you know, I think it's a, the, one of the largest impediments for people uh, around thinking around this is how much do I need? And uh, what, I, what I'd start with is a simple rule of thumb. Um, everybody, you know, should, if they're working, should have five to six times their, their annual income, you know, as coverage at a minimum. Now, they might get from their employer one times uh, salary. That's just not enough. Um, but you can benchmark my rule of thumb to what you have today and just get a sense of do I have enough or not at a minimum. Then there are calculators that can allow you to dive deeper and look at your true underlying needs. And many calculators are available. We provide one as well. And you know, it looks at what, can, what kind of income you want to provide for your loved ones. Do you want to pay off the mortgage? Do you want to fund college education if you have children? You know, uh, do you want to cover your own funeral costs? So um, there are simple uh, underlying drivers for the calculation that makes sense. And a calculator can help you figure that out quickly. Well, and I know this maybe isn't sometimes a, a topic that we want to think about or talk about, but we absolutely should be, including, I think, that comes along with a lot of misconceptions. What are some of those that you've seen people have? Yeah, so um, first is really how much do I need? We've covered that. I think the second one is cost. You know, uh, people overestimate the cost. One study shows that they overestimate by threefold, which is, you know, a significant overestimate of what the underlying cost is. And there are different forms of life insurance that allow you to balance, you know, the cost with, uh, with your needs. And I think the third misconception is, you know, life insurance isn't just, you know, about providing a benefit if I die. Uh, and that's why I think it's uh, more of a, uh, of a discussion around me living as well as dying. Um, permanent life insurance is, is a version of life insurance that can provide you know, things like a, a savings vehicle on a tax advantage basis. It can also provide key benefits around, you know, if I have a disability or a critical illness like cancer, it can provide benefits. And then end of life, you know, we're all likely going to have some form of long-term care needs and it can provide, you know, benefits to cover that expense as well. So, you know, the, the misconception, the last one is really it's, it's uh, just about uh, when I die, it's quite honestly as much about when I live. And I know you mentioned uh, somewhere along the way about rates. Uh, is getting like an annual exam or anything of that sort uh, help in getting that lower, the rate? Yeah, we made, we made that determination 10 years ago as a company that, um, you know, if people demonstrate that they've been to the doctor regularly, you know, we should give them a discount. And so we built what we call the Wellness for Life Rider, which is an addition to the policy. And if people demonstrate that, then we give them discounts on their cost of insurance. If they additionally uh, demonstrate that they've maintained their weight within a range over time, you know, they can get a discount as well. So um, you can blend, you know, the type of coverage you, you uh, want in terms of uh, driving down the cost. You can also, you know, work with a, a rider like we've developed and, you know, get discounts for just being healthy. Well, I feel like we've started this open dialogue about this important topic, so I want people to continue with that. Where can we go online to get some more information? I know you guys have a new wellness survey we can also check out there. Yeah, the wellness survey, I think, just affirmed that people do focus on wellness and do um, want to be rewarded uh, and will be motivated to be well if they're rewarded. So it kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, we have a website, uh, simplyspeakinglifeinsurance.com. So it's all one word simplyspeakinglifeinsurance.com. On there, you can you know, self-explore, you know, how much do I need? What are the different types of life insurance? Which one fit my needs best? Uh, you know, and I think it's a great place to start. Um, in, in many cases, you know, carry the conversation on with an agent that can help you, you know, hone that down and, and implement. Well, thank you so much, Dave. Thank you, Tina, I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely, we'll be right back.